Let's say that you have a bunch of things that you need to get done. You probably write out a little to-do list or you keep a mental note, but just how effective are these methods? I know for a lot of people, an essay that could have been finished in four hours becomes a four-day ordeal. Homework that could have easily been done in 45 minutes ends up taking all night. So how do we get things done as efficiently and as fast as possible? The answer lies in the way you make your list. I'll give you an example. When it comes to making videos for this channel. It takes me anywhere from 6 to 10 hours of work to produce one video. Even though it takes this many hours, I am frequently able to do all of this work in just one day. How do I do it? What I do is I plan out all of the things I have to do the day before. I use a whiteboard like this one. I like to put Velcro on the back of these whiteboards and put them on the wall across from my bed. So when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I see is my to-do list. I immediately know that these are the goals for today. What do you write on the boards? Well, let's say for example, my goal is to make a video today. Now on this whiteboard, what I'll do is I'll break down the exact steps I need to take in order to get this done. I categorize each component of the video Video making process. The first component is the script, but what I need to get done first is the title, which only takes about 10 minutes tops. Once I get the title done, I cross it out and I immediately contact my thumbnail guy and I tell him what I want. This takes like another 10 minutes. I consider this to be another component in itself. Then I'll do a rough draft, which takes about 45 minutes. I'll proofread it and edit it, which takes about another 30 minutes. And that's it. The script component is done. Now for every major component, what I like to do is I like to put a little box next to it. And once I complete a component, I check it. When I complete a task, I cross that out. Every time I'm done with a major component, I'll give myself a little break. I'll cook lunch or I'll browse Reddit for 10 minutes. Then it's back to work and on to the next component. Next is the animation. I usually break this down into two sessions, each taking about an hour. But if the video is extremely long, I'll make it into three sessions and that's another component done. Then it's audio. First, I'll record the raw audio. I do a couple of takes, so it takes about an hour. Then I edit the audio. Then I add the background music that's another 30 minutes and that's another component done check mark little break then I sync the animation with the audio this takes about 30 minutes to an hour and that's another component done the final component is the launch and for the launch I have a big empty box because it's the last step for the whole process I write the description I put the tags schedule the video make the captions make the end screen all of that stuff it takes me about 30 minutes and then I'm done with the whole project the reason why we have such a hard time getting things done is because when we use a plan plain old to-do list, all of the tasks look ginormous. Your brain goes, oh my god, this is going to take me 8 hours to complete. And naturally, you just start procrastinating. Your reasoning being, oh, you know, I'll just enjoy myself a little bit more before I shut myself away from the world for 8 hours. But when you break it down to extremely simple steps, you start taking advantage of what's called implementation intention. It's a psychological effect that is the core of many methods out there regarding studying and work habits. When you break the task down, and and be as specific as possible, it becomes easier for you to get things done. This includes specifying the where, the when, and the exact steps. So instead of saying, oh, I need to study this week, you need to be saying, okay, when I'm done with this class, I'm going to go to the library, I'm going to read pages A to D, and I'm going to do questions Y to Z. By changing the way you write your to-do list, you become more effective in getting things done. And that's how there's people out there who get massive loads of work done every single day. They're not superhuman. They just know how how to write a proper to-do list.